Hi guys, this is Giga from 2100 News. We're live from Kran. I'm here with Bostian Triller, the mayor. Uh, we, we just established the first monument for Bitcoin here in Kran. And I want to ask the mayor of the city, how did you decide to make this monument here? Hi Giga and uh, nice hi greetings to all the viewers. Um, actually, first of all, we decided to build a roundabout for the traffic safety. So this was the first step, obviously, this is one of the role of the local government. And then typically there comes a question what to put on the roundabout. It is always you put something which uh, locals are very proud of or it is very traditional. And since we are a modern municipality, we said, OK, let's let's ask people to decide. So we use the modern technologies, the social network Facebook, and we ask them, what do you want to have on this roundabout? And one of the first ideas, ideas was actually the, uh, the idea to do something with the blockchain technology or the, with the crypto uh, digital currencies. And we said, well, this is really good idea because Kran is doing a lot uh, on that area, as also municipality. And at the same time, we have few very, very strong uh, global companies working on the high te new technologies and also on the blockchain uh, technology. So we said, this is really great idea. Let's do it. I think that it's really great that the idea actually came from the people. So I think the whole city is going to be glad that <laughs> you established that monument. As you said, one of the more successful companies uh, in crypto world came from Kran. Do you think that uh, your municipality contributed to it? Well, I would say one of the biggest benefits or added value of such companies and especially of the two most successful, which are T3FS and the Bitstamp, is that they're giving they're, they're some kind of uh, role model for the other people, for the other citizens, showing that uh, now the world is really open. You can work globally if you have the guts, uh, the knowledge and w willingness to do. So I think this is the biggest added value. Of course, I'm very proud on them. I'm very proud that they're employing people from other countries and that they are really open. They're showing that Kran and Slovenia really need to be open society. And then everybody, everybody can succeed. I think this is the biggest added value. But after opening this uh, monument, after today's reactions of the, of the media, I think there will be many other benefits. For example, the, the uh, Kran will become much more known. So the, and I already had now Chinese uh, media asking us what is nice in Slovenia, what is nice in Kran. I think this will be one of the side effects, but very strong side effect. Yes, I agree with you. I think that this monument will contribute greatly to uh, recognition of Kran. So if, if we look forward a little bit, do you think maybe, maybe we can see it in tourism? Maybe people are going to come see it? Uh, definitely, seeing the today's reaction of public and of media, this is just the start of the wave. So we already discussed on the way back from opening, we, should, we have to do minimum two things. First of all, uh, give some kind of explanation next to the monument so the people will know what is this about. We have to do a few night eliminated shootings and then just give, uh, make a touristic package with this. Come and see the first and the only monument to the blockchain in the world and at the same time you have a beautiful destination of Kran and Slovenia. Uh, it's very safe, people are very nice, the food and the drinks are affordable and of high quality. So everything we already have we can connect to, to this monument and bring, bring people here. And I was joking to the Chinese uh, media, I said okay but don't bring all of them because we cannot handle it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I agree completely. I think you're doing great things for Kran and this is definitely going to contribute to the recognition, not just for Kran, but I think for the whole country. If we return to what you said, uh, you spoke about blockchain technology. What is, what is your view on the blockchain technology? How do you think it's going to change our future? Well, obviously I'm not a professional. I'm just, uh, I, I like the new technologies. I'm especially interested in artificial intelligence. It, this might be also my new uh, field of work uh, after I start being a mayor. But uh, what I see the most is uh, in the digital world, we are lacking safety, right? Uh, one, partially, it's only a perception. People are afraid because they don't understand it. But on the other side, we are accessing daily so much data and uh, so much information and we, we don't really know who is accessing it. And uh, this is one of the big risks of digitalization of the world. And I think the blockchain technology is one of the uh, currently best tools to ensure 
the safety in digital world. So we cannot always control that somebody can access data, but with blockchain, we can see when, who, uh, with, the, with the great details. So I think the businesses like insurance, health, banking can really benefit out of this. Of course, one of the biggest, of the biggest challenges right now is the legalization. It's some kind of the gray area, right? So uh, what I'm as a mayor we are, or the lo local government, we are not allowed to directly interfere in business or to support them or to work with them. But what we can do is influence on the government to speed up the legalization and make it workable. And currently Slovenia is, is taking quite initiative. Uh, our government is taking initiative and uh, other countries, for example, big European countries like German and France are taking it slow but systematic. So currently we are up front, uh, we are ahead, and we have to use this momentum. This, this is something, you know, when Slovenia became independent, we were saying we want to be a new Swiss, but you cannot be a Swiss, with Swiss uh, without Swiss history, right? You need to make, a, and we have this history now in this area, so I hope we're going to use it. And I will use every opportunity to speak with government representative to, uh, to encourage to do it quickly and efficiently. That's great and we actually have successful companies to back it up and I think that setting up a monument in Kran speaks, it's, speaks for itself, it's your stance. Uh, maybe to finish this up, could you maybe tell us how, how did you first uh, got to know with cryptocurrencies and... Well, as I said, uh, the new technologies are kind of my hobby. Uh, even though I'm 50 years old, I can uh, match up with all the youngsters regarding all the new technologies. So for me, it was, uh, I don't know, this was like seven, eight years ago. I just learned it, read about it, but I didn't see any practical use of it yet. I saw the potential uh, at that time. I said, well, it could be same thing as Internet. You know, everybody was skeptical, but now it's uh, it's a communication revolution. And then after that, I um, notice it uh, through CRAN companies. I knew that, uh, for example, I knew of a Bitstamp was very successful making a lot of money, uh, but I never, I never mine, you know, I don't have, unfortunately today you need so much process power that it's not possible. <laughs> At the start you could do it at home, now you need a hangar. Uh, but now I see a lot of potential uh, in it, as I said, insurance, health, everywhere when you have a lot of data contact and I see my role not so much as technological, so you know there are really professionals who can do it. But I speak both languages. I speak the government language and I speak the business, the technology language, and I can be a great intermediate to to help the guys to bring it uh, to bring it. In. Yes, I think it shows with with your actions what you're doing. Uh, this is Giga from 2100 News. Uh, we just did an interview with a mayor, Boschan Triller. We wish to thank you for your time and much success in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.